Where does um? What kind of meat is that still? A cow tail. Cow? I think it's cow tail. Beef? I think so. I don't know. I think. Oh, we can eat something. I don't know. Um. I don't know much about art still. I thought art still and we come from. Chef Girl Shanique in the kitchen today and I'm gonna show you all how I make my Jamaican oxtail and some nice nice mashed potatoes all right so this is the oxtail it's only a few pieces because Fabian not eat oxtail so it's just me alone I don't need a lot so it's already washed with vinegar and lime well washed clean and nice and I'm about to season it now as you all can see that um we have me onion, a little garlic, the thyme, scallion, and sweet pepper and pepper. And I'm going to season it now. So, so where does where does um what kind of meat is that still? No, a cow tail. Cow. I think it's cow tail. Beef. I think so. I don't know. I think. Oh, we can eat something. I don't know. Um. I don't know much about that still. I thought that still and we come from. Ox. <laughs> I'm gonna add um the little browning. It's not the Jamaican brown. I don't know. I don't know this. That's a little. I want too much browning. Okay, I want it too dark. Let me have some all-purpose seasoning. Some other all purpose season, but not the same Maggie. But I just put it in this jar. Just a little bit. Not much. A little black pepper. A little tip. And I'm also gonna have some of this um real beer jam season. It's hot. I just like um oh it's spicy and nice. Um you don't have to put it in your oxtail, but I'm going to put a little in mine just to give it some more flavor. I'm a little more spicy. Right? So, I'm going to add the thyme. They're already washed. The thyme, the onion, and the garlic. I'm going to leave these for last when it's cooking down. Alright. I'm gonna season up my oxtail. I'm going to let this marinate for at least three hours before I woo where's fly come from before me prepare it. has been marinated for at least three hours yeah should be so and nice I'm gonna light the fire let it pot eat up a little bit like also had a little tip of oil not much Allow them to brown, get brown up on each side. Okay. 
Okay, you can allow them to burn on each side, or you can also cover your pot. You have to allow them to brown. Then I will add some water and put in this mixture. So I'm going to catch the water on this one time. Then to add this now, the seasoning and some water and let it cook. I am going to let it cook for about an hour and a half or maybe more, depends on how hard it is. So I'm going to allow it to cook and I'll be keep adding water until it is soft. Yeah. When it um when it gets soft, I will just add in my carrot and my sweet peppers. Simmering down, and I'm going to add the carrot and the sweet pepper inside. It kind of fresh, so I'm gonna add a little bit more season on it. Mm. This has been cooking for what, about two hours now, Fabian, mm. or hour and forty-five minutes. It kind of fresh, so I'm gonna have a little more season. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do the mashed potato now. Come uh, on, my water. Potatoes peel and wash. So I'm going to add them in the water and let them cook. Add a little bit of ketchup in it. To get a little. Thickness. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it simmer down, guys, for about five minutes or or maybe a little bit more. Upstairs is finally done, guys. Yep. And I am going to drain off this potato and mash it. I'm gonna add a little milk, a little bit of pepper, um, butter, and I have more butter. Uh, when you're doing mashed potato, you could add mayo to it if you want to. Only if you want to, but it tastes nice with the mayonnaise, but you don't have to have a, add a lot. But you can put a little mayonnaise in it.
I do it until it's very creamy. I also have just four little string beans that was boiled. Just for everything. Yeah. And this is my oxtail and mashed potatoes. So guys, I'm going to dig in now, but don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment down below.